Whether you're buying a micro SD card for a GoPro, a camera, a Raspberry Pi, the Nintendo Switch, you're going to want to see this. All right, three new micro SD cards, Transcend 400X, Silicon Power, uh, Class 10, and the Amazon branded uh, Sandus Ultra. One's in a frustration free, one's in a full frustration packaging. Uh, the SP is advertising 85 megabytes up to on the read. Let's see if that's true or not. Transcend isn't advertising any kind of read or write speeds. Uh, both got decent reviews on Amazon, all three did. So let's see how these, um, these stack up. This one is definitely a frustration package. Frustration free package, easy to peel off. Inside it has a nice case and you get some manuals to try to sell you stuff. Also comes with a lifetime warranty. Both come with lifetime warranties and you have that nice clear plastic case. So there's kind of a nice little bonus there. Now for the silicon power, there's actually a little section on the bottom that has little dashes that you cut off. So very easily just go ahead and cut that off the bottom there. A little harder to take out, a little more frustration, but shouldn't be too bad. All you get is the SD card, but it does come with a lifetime warranty, everything else that the other one comes with. All right, here we go. Formatting the first one, the SP Power. We have 28.8 gigabytes, 30,941,380 bytes. Let's go ahead and run the test. This one's advertising 85 megabytes read speed, and look at that. We didn't quite get it. 69.5. So quite a bit under, and uh, really, really bad uh, writing speeds. Let's do that one more time. So 68 from 69. Wow, it's really not liking that right. So 12 that time, okay. And then if we write a motion blue to it, version five, the same one we've been writing for all this, these tests, Let's go ahead and write it, yes. What is the actual speed? Wow, seven to 12. So similar results where it'll, it can, might go up to 17 or 15, but it's not even doing that. 12, 12. It's gonna jump down though. It's not stable, okay. So it's going now at 12. Moving along to the Transcend 400X. Ooh, I'm already liking the space available on this one. Nice, 29.8 gigabytes. That's 32 billion, a uh, little over 32 billion bytes. That's really good. And what do we have here? Nice, awesome read speeds. 26, not bad. So here you guys go. Here you go. If you're looking for a, um, you're looking for you know a good budget SD card. This one, this one's holding up. It's a little faster than the Sandus Ultras too. Yeah, that's really good. Remember the Sandus Ultras, we were getting under 20. So let's say this is averaging what 22.5, maybe higher, 23s. All right, moving along to the Sandus Ultra Amazon version. Let's go ahead and format. Now this one obviously is going to be a little larger, but uh, I'll put I'll I'll estimate that. All right. Wow, not so much impressive, but the write speeds are impressive. So a little slower on the read, but a lot faster on the write. Thirty-five. Now let's see what we actually get. Wow, this is good. So the gray cards have a way higher write speed than the, uh, than the red ones. So I'm gonna give this a 30, 30 megs per second. And the test is saying 33, but I'm gonna give it 30, just to key on the more safer, yeah, see 20, whoa, down to seven, 14. We're gonna go 15 megs per second, because this is gonna jump around even more. See, back to 13. Dang, <laughs> funky card, funky, funky card. All right, here we go. Starting in column number two over here, we have read speeds. As you see, I'd probably stick away from these cards. 
I mean, the only card I really didn't like was the regular Samsung Evo. Really did not do well. All the rest of these with the read speeds should be fine. But really, if you want to go good, I would go with any of these here. Anything uh, 68 and higher, as you see here in the graph. The surprising thing, what, what scored well was the Transcend. Where we added the Transcend stacked up well with the Samsung Evo Select, the PNY Elite X. So it's a little cheaper than the PNY Elite X, but you don't get those write speeds. Write speeds is where you see the biggest differences. Um, you can see here on the third column three, um, Sandus Extreme in its own in its own little area here, Sandus Extreme. And then uh, then we have the PNY Elite, yeah, X at 54, then jumps down to 32, Samsung Evo Plus Transcend. So I'd still go for a Samsung Evo Plus. Seems to be a really good card for the price. Uh, but the Sandus Ultras, I mean, if you're only burning the image once, the Sandus Ultra is still a great, great card. No corruptions, things like that. But for available space, we can see the Silicon Power, not very good at all. This is actually a big downer. Uh, considering the Samsung Evo or the PNY Elite, you can get up to 30 gigs on a 32 gigabyte. We're only going to get 28. So I might, especially if space is a concern, you might want to give up these, these two here. I don't necessarily recommend purchasing either of those two, or even this one, the PNY Elite. I mean, all these below, I feel pretty good about, except the Samsung Evo, it's slow card. There is, you're, there is a big price difference between $12 and 19, but there's a big performance difference um, as well, as you see here with the write speed, three times faster on the right. To me, if I save 20 minutes, that's worth the money right there. But that's up to you if you're only burning an image once or you're just taking photos or something like that. This could be perfectly fine for you. But as far as price, the other thing is these go on sale all the time. So the price changes uh, drastically. Sorting by name here, um, you know, my go-tos would still be any of the Sandus Ultras, Samsung Evo Select and Evo Plus, PNY Elite X series, don't go the other, and then I would go for a Transcend. That would be my order. I would probably skip over the Silicon Power just because of the available space. Probably skip over the Patriot because of the available space, and probably skip over the Lexar and the Evo because of the slowness. Um, but other than that, there you guys go. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you when I get some more SD cards.